Hello, whoever's there, can you can you say hi or drop an emoji so I can see if my comments are working? Tim Boston. Hello, Tim. I'm just waiting to see. I want to be able to talk to everybody, so somebody hit me with a comment. Hi, Nancy. Can you say hi? Someone type hi. Let me see if my comments are working. <laughs> hi, Jeff. You say daddy. All right, daddy gave us a smiley face. All right, guys, thanks for stopping into my kitchen. This is my cutie, Jamie. She's going to join us today. We're making zucchini ravioli, a healthy alternative to ravioli. So what we're going to do, oops, careful. What we're going to do to get started is we're going to make our filling. Um, so let me point you down here so you can see what we're doing. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start. Now, before I get started, actually, this recipe is actually a recipe for two. It serves two, but I've cut it in half so that, um, because, well, you'll find out. But I cut one, I cut it in half, so we're just making half of it right now. So, we're going to start with half a cup of ricotta. Okay, so let's get our half cup. And we are going to scoop the ricotta into the Talk louder if you want them to hear. <laughs> oh, and then we're gonna scoop the. Hi, Auntie Loopy. This is my Jamie. She's getting half a cup of ricotta into our mixing bowl. So, what is everyone doing today? to add one eighth cup of um, Parmesan cheese. Well, actually, before we do that, we're going to add um, half of an egg, okay? So the recipe mm -hmm. for two calls for a whole egg, so this is kind of why I'm doing it in half, because I wanted to make one ahead of time and then make one for you. So I've already scrambled up one egg, and my egg measured to one quarter cup, so we're gonna use half of that which is one eighth cup. So we're going to use one eighth cup of egg. Now we're going to add one eighth cup of Parmesan. Okay. okay, we're not going to be able to put that in here because it's got egg all in it. So let me just pour this in here and then you can dump it. All right, so eighth cup of grated Parmesan. Mix that in there. Go ahead and start mixing that up. Okay. And also to that, I'm going to use my garlic paste and we're going to add um, a quarter teaspoon. Okay, go ahead and start mixing. I'll get this. Jamie likes to cook, so we thought it would be fun mm -hmm. for her to help me today. Yeah, sticky again. Oh, there we go. All right, mix that in there. And while she's mixing that, I'm also gonna chop up some fresh basil to add a little seasoning and color to the dish. Let's see here. Oh, thanks, Auntie Loopy. Hey, Lisa. Uh, we're making zucchini ravioli with my special <laughs> guest here, Jamie. Hi. Okay, mix that up. So she's working on the filling and I'm gonna chop up some fresh basil to add a little color and seasoning to the filling. And we're also gonna use this as a garnish. Mix it up good. Jamie has not had this dish before, so we'll get her um, kid's view opinion on what she thinks of it when we're done. I've had it, but, um, and I know I like it. So I'm gonna add the basil in there. Set that aside, mix that all up. 
Okay, while she's doing that, I'm going to just let you know, ahead of time, I prepared the zucchini strips, the zucchini noodles. I used just a regular vegetable peeler, and I sliced my zucchini. So if you can see here, so I made strips like this of the zucchini. Each ravioli needs four strips of zucchini, okay? And I've got them on this, I've got them all laid out on a paper towel just to help absorb some of the the liquid that um, comes out of the zucchini as it sits so that it doesn't water down the dish. All right, so you got all that set? Mm -hmm. All right, set that down. Okay, so she's going to start building a ravioli. She's gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a big one and a skinny one. Just say two strips. Okay, lay them down. And lay the, them down in straight. And and then, slightly overlapping. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to grab another two strips and put them the other way overlapping. <clears throat> then we're going to get a little bit of our filling mm -hmm. and put it right in the center. And we are going to fold these over like this. And then the other side down here, we're going to fold it up. And then we're going to fold these like this. And then we'll do the same for the other side. Okay, before we put that into our dish, we're also going to um, use half a cup. Is this half a cup? Yeah. We're going to use half a cup of marinara sauce. I like, okay. For those of you on plan with me, when you get a marinara sauce, sorry, when you get a marinara sauce, you want to try to find a sauce that has five or less carbs per half cup serving, okay? So this one, I found this one, usually I use Rayo's, but um, I found this one is a little less expensive than Rayo's, and it's actually a little bit better. This is called Mama De Salvos, and this one has um, five carbs per half cup and this one only has 50 calories the Rayos has 70 so it's a little fewer calories and this one also only has four grams of fat whereas the Rayos had five so I'm gonna give this one a try so we're gonna put huh okay just a minute I'm gonna put half a cup of this into the bottom of our baking dish okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that part ready Alright, so we got that half cup there. And then we're going to shake it just to make it spread around. Get that spread along the bottom, like that. Okay, and then what are we going to do with the ravioli? We are going to place this right here. Okay, and we're placing it upside down from where we um, had the strips folded over to help seal in the goodies. Okay, so make the next one. So she's going to make one on one side and I'm going to make one on the other side. Okay, just get your strips. <laughs> you kind of sticky. Uh, Lisa says, great job, Jamie. Thank you, Lisa. Make the last two on this one. I'll take this one. Okay, I got it. Okay, go ahead and make yours. So this is something that you can do with your kids in the kitchen that's fun. I'm going to scoot yours over for a second here. Okay. okay. So you use, like I said, four strips of zucchini per ravioli. And then you're just going to scoop some of that filling into the middle. Now you could also add, you know, a little bit of chopped spinach or, you know, um, other seasonings if you prefer a different seasoning other than basil. All right. So you want to kind of make it tight, but not to what? Not too tight that the filling oozes out. There we go. That's gross. <laughs> We want to keep the cheese inside our ravioli there. 
I think we only have room in this dish for one more, unless you make it nice and thin. I will, right. So okay. you can make it thin by making this a little skinnier okay. each way, like this. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. It looks good. Where, okay, um, Stephanie, where did you say you got the marinara sauce? Okay, um, Stephanie, I got this at my Kroger. Um, it's Mama De Silvos, okay? And this one had 50 calories per half cup serving and only five grams of carbs per serving and four grams of fat. So I really like that, those numbers. You got that in there? We got room for one more? Yeah. So this is what we got so far. Okay, while she's doing that, I'm gonna measure out three quarters, or no, sorry. Yes, three quarters cup of, no, just half a cup, just half a cup. Half a cup of part skim mozzarella. Well, I finished filling in the last one. just needs to be thin it can be stuffed it just needs to be thin so this is actually a little bit too small of a dish um, but we're making it work <laughs> there all right so there's our ravioli now Jamie's gonna top that with our portion of mozzarella what we do is we get a little, like a top lot out. and then we plop it on top of the zucchini Keep on doing that on each ravioli piece. I think she's doing pretty good, guys. You have something in your hair on my shirt. Um, piece of thread. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> what else is going on? Um, Lisa Lad, yes. It does look good. It does look good. All right. Anything else? Gotta get all that cheese in there. She says, gotta get all that cheese on it. Yes. Get all that cheese on it. Nice and yummy. Looks good to me. Looks good to me, too. Let's get some more cheese on this one right here. This one's yeah. looking a little... So if you put your kids to work doing this, maybe they'll try it. Try something healthy that and they've had a part in making. And at the end, I'm gonna try it. And at the end, she's gonna try it, yeah. Looks fun to make too, yes. Going to try this, all right, Kathy. Everyone who tries this, I wanna see your pictures and post it on my What's Cooking with Malia page, okay? I would love to see and hear your thoughts of the dishes that I share with you. Okay, next we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of Parmesan on top of this. So let's, where's, oops, I put it over here. Hold on, I gotta wipe it. Yeah, cause from this, from our garlic, um, it made the spoons a little sticky. Okay, one and a half teaspoons. We're going to sprinkle that on top of here. So go ahead and get, remember to scrape it over the top. Okay, try to sprinkle it as evenly as you can. You can use your fingers to help get it out a little bit. All right, look at her go. Okay, and then half. You can see this one right here. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to use the rest of the basil that I um, chopped up okay. and then garnet for garnish. Spring, no, just leave it on there. You don't have to hold it in here. Just leave it here and pick up as you need. And we are going to spread it on the ravioli. Spread it 
Okay, so then what are they going to do with that? And when you're done with this, what you're going to do is you are going to bake it at 375 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. And my mom is getting the one that we already made that we're going to show you when it's baked. Smells really good. Alright, let me see. Okay, she's bringing it out. Move that to the side. Move the cutting board there. Alright, guys, look at this. For those of you, those of you on plan with me, this is a full, you got to eat all of this by yourself, okay? It's going to fill you up. It's going to taste so good. And I'm going to try it right now. Okay, but what I'm going to dish one out. It's probably really hot. I'm going to dish one ravioli onto this plate for us to sample. Get it out of there. Should I go get a fork? Oh, yes. Well, I'll get it. You can... Blow on that. Get a fork and knife. It smells delicious. All right. Any questions? Let me take a look here at the comments. Any questions? All right. Let me cut this open. Blow on it a little bit more. Let's see what the inside looks. Okay, this is hasn't actually cooked for the full 30 minutes, so it's a little bit al dente. There's, I can tell it. There's a little bit of a crunch still to the zucchini, but we will see how it tastes. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try this one first. See how hot it is. It's pretty hot, I think. It's good. It's hot. Okay, here we go. Jamie is trying the zucchini ravioli. It's hot. Hot. <laughs> it's hot. Take it back. You need to blow on it. It's hot. <laughs> it's still hot. Uh, hot. Uh, hot. Okay, cover your mouth. <laughs> but how's it taste? Oh, so good. It tastes good. It tastes good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So hot. It's hot. But I don't feel like um, I'm not missing the pasta. It doesn't mm. taste like pasta, but it doesn't. Eat, it doesn't taste like ravioli either. Um, it tastes good. Kids opinion right there. It tastes good. So you all need to try this. It came together very quickly. You saw we've only been here 20 minutes. The oven just went off. So it was just about done cooking. I took it out maybe two minutes before the 30 minutes was up. Um, so took 20 minutes to prepare and then you just bake it for 30 minutes. Quick and easy. And that was with her cook, uh, making it. So, you know, if you were doing it, you might move a little bit faster. But I don't know. She did pretty good. Uh, give her some thumbs up, guys. Give her some thumbs up and hearts. Let her see how well she did. Rosemary, it is good. Thank you for stopping in. Appreciate that. Oh, there's someone. <laughs> Yay, there comes the hearts and the thumbs up. Yay, it's always so fun to see those. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you. Um, if you find these videos beneficial and in, um, to you, I would really love it if you shared them and um, help me spread some healthy recipes to your friends and family on Facebook. 
For those of you who don't know, um, my name is Malia. If you're watching this on a replay, my name is Malia Turner. I'm a health coach and I've just recently lost 100 pounds in six months doing my health plan. And if you're looking for a road to better health, I would love to have a conversation with you. Just send me a message and I'll be in touch. All right. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. She did a great job, she says. Jennifer says you did an awesome job. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your night. We'll talk to you later. Make Bye. sure you try it. Make sure you try it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.